We've been trolling for a little while now and uh, we're marking fish down deep. We haven't gotten a knockdown, a bite or a knockdown in a little while. We're gonna switch over to chunking. Over the past week or so, when the bite has slowed up like this, we've been able to switch over and start throwing bait in the water and get the yellowfin chunking. Chunking is basically getting flats of butterfish, cutting them up into small, small chunks and uh, bringing the life to you rather than fishing in the life. We're gonna try to create a chum slick that brings the fish up and into the chum slick and keeping consistent with this chum slick will get the fish higher and higher and eventually right to the boat. One of the most important things about chunking is being consistent with the chunk slicks. If possible, have one designated guy dedicated to throwing chunks in the water at, a, at the same cadence. Every minute throw in two or three. Every two minutes throw in a handful. Just keeping the slick going, keeping the fish up, even when fighting fish, is super important to keep them close. If you get distracted, stop throwing chunks and lose the slick, you're gonna have to start all over again and the fish might not come back and find you. To match the free falling chunks, we're gonna use super light gear so the fish don't catch on. We're gonna go with 40 pound fluorocarbon, a light wire hook, and a 20, 25 foot leader. Hey Max, we got whales about three, three and a half miles southeast of here, a couple spouts. One of the reasons we're looking for marine life like dolphins or whales up here in the northeast is the tuna have aligned their behavior to follow the whales around because the whales don't waste time when it comes to taking in calories. Their daily need for intake is massive and the tuna take advantage of their ability to locate prey and the disturbance they create whenever they start feeding. We're marking a few at 140 right now. pounding away the troll bite. We got a fish right away on it, but it went and over an hour went by without getting another bite. We were marking the fish down a little deeper. They wouldn't come up for the trolls, so this is what switching over does. It gives you another option, having bait ready to go. And uh, we hooked up. In years in the past, one operation was one trick pony, another operation was another trick pony. One person might have just been a trolling guy. One person might have been bigger into jig and pop, or another might have been just bait fishermen. Nowadays, just about everyone out here is a much more versatile angler. Uh, you're gonna leave the dock with a mix of trolling gear, baiting gear, jigging and casting gear, and throughout the day, you might have to be all three anglers in order to convert successfully. One of the greatest thing about the Therese Blue Bluewater series rods is their versatility and the fact that they were designed on the specs of many of the guys that are on the water the most. And this is a classic example right here take the same exact setups we were trolling with earlier, putting bars out, covering up a spread, and immediately switching them over to fish the chunk bite. Again, one of the reasons we like to pair them with the Winthrop style butts is the ability to put the fold in the rod so that we're able to mount them in the gunnel without having to worry about yanking on the baits or making them look less natural. But while fighting, you can convert back to whatever position your preference is. Even though we're tight on a fish right now, it's key to keep them focused in the area that we're in. So once in a while during the fight, we're gonna keep throwing a little bit more chum as we're fighting, get those fish to stick with the boat, keep coming up in the water column. We're starting to get deep color on the fish. And one thing I did when I switched to lighter leaders, I made it super long. I stretched out to 25 feet. The advantage of having full rollers on your rod is I'm able to reel the swivel right through the reel and Jack, he wouldn't have to leader the fish at all. So he could focus on gaffing the fish and boat control, and I could just focus on fighting the fish. We don't have to worry about leadering it at all. As this fish is pinwheeling, it dives right on the motors. I'm standing back here, just so I make sure we clear them. Right here, it's gonna spin under. I'm gonna lean over, not really pull on the fish too hard, let them clear, and then I'm gonna put pressure back on the fish. It's a bigger fish. Yeah. 